Hello people, welcome back. This question is from gate exam of 2006. It was asked for two marks. They are saying that a station A uses 32 byte packets to transmit message to station B using sliding window protocol. The round trip delay between A and B is 80 milliseconds and the bottleneck bandwidth on the path between A and B is 128 kbps. What is the optimal window size that A should use? So optimal window size means we want 100% efficiency. Okay. And the window size for 100% efficiency is 1 plus 2A. Sender's window must be of this side if we want 100% efficiency. Okay. This value is what we need to determine. But before that, let me discuss two points. First one is this word bottleneck. Bottleneck means limiting or minimum. Okay. Limiting bandwidth on the path is 128 KB. That means there is a possibility at some place in the path, the bandwidth is higher than 128 KB. But you know, we consider the minimum one only. Okay. So even if there is higher bandwidth available between A and B at some place, we'll neglect it. Suppose C. This is the path between A and B. All of these are routers. So suppose here the bandwidth is 5 Mbps. Here the bandwidth is 2 Mbps. And here the bandwidth is 128 Kbps. So you are going to consider the minimum only. That means 128 will be considered. Next thing that I want to discuss is round trip time. According to the most common definitions, round trip time means twice the propagation delay. Okay. This is the general definition. In question, they are not using this definition. The most common definition is this, but it's not being used in the question. Still, let me explain it. It means if you are sending very small amount of data to the receiver, that amount of data will be immediately be put on to the channel. Then it will take some time to reach till the receiver. Okay. That means for putting that data, no time is required. You will immediately put it onto the channel. The entire time that is required will be taken in the path from A to B. That means when the data is traveling on medium, this one bit or very small amount of data is traveling till the receiver. This time is always equal to propagation delay. Okay. Propagation delays definition is this. If you send very small amount of data, the time taken in path is called propagation delay. Okay. Now this uh, receiver, it will send some response back. Okay. Again, the response is very small. Acknowledgement packets are very small. This will also require propagation delay. The time equal to propagation delay. This is called the round trip time. But in question, they are not using this definition. In question, by saying round trip time, they mean the time taken by the sender to transmit a entire packet and get its acknowledgement back. See, we want to transmit an entire packet. That means now the data that we want to send is not very small. We'll actively keep on sending the data for some amount of time. Suppose starting from this time till this time, I, if I am the sender, I'm continuously putting bits onto the channel. Okay. So I'm just sending the packet. The packet is large. So it will take some time. That time is called transmission delay. The amount of time that is taken by the sender to transmit the packet. Okay. At this point of time, I or the sender will put the last bit onto the channel. That last bit will take TP time to reach and its acknowledgement will take TP time to uh, come back. So this is TP. This one is also TP. Generally round trip time means 2 TP. But in this question round trip time means TT plus 2 TP. Okay. So transmission time plus twice the propagation time is equal to 80. And the unit is 
मिली सेकेंड्स ओके दिस इज वॉट दे आर सेइंग नाउ लेट्स जस्ट सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन सो यू कैन सी वी नीड टू डिटरमाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ वन प्लस टू ए फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट ए वी नीड टू डिवाइड द प्रोपोगेशन डिले बाय ट्रांसमिशन डिले लेट्स फाइंड आउट वॉट इज ट्रांसमिशन डिले ट्रांसमिशन डिले इज साइज ऑफ पैकेट डिवाइडेड बाय द बैंडवर्थ सो टी टी विल बी साइज ऑफ पैकेट इज थर्टी टू बाइट्स डिवाइडेड बाय बैंडवर्थ यूनिट ऑफ बैंडवर्थ इज के बी पी एस बट वी वॉन्ट इट इन के कैपिटल बी पी एस दैट इज बाइट्स किलो बाइट्स पर सेकेंड सो इफ वी जस्ट डिवाइड दिस बाय एट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट सिक्सटीन के बी पर सेकेंड ओके सो डिवाइडेड बाय द बैंडवर्थ विच इज सिक्सटीन के बी पर सेकेंड सी वाई डिड आई कन्वर्ट दिस स्मॉल बी इन टू कैपिटल बी बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू मेक दिस यूनिट सेम सो बोथ ऑफ दीज बाइट्स कैन बी कैंसल्ड ना यू कैन सी वी आर लेफ्ट विद टू डिवाइडेड बाय टेन रेज टू दावर थ्री पर सेकेंड ओके पर सेकेंड विल बिकम सेकेंड सो दिस पर सेकेंड वेन इट गोज टू न्यूमिनेटर इट विल बिकम सेकेंड नाउ द वैल्यू ऑफ के मस्ट बी टेकन एस टेन क्यूब it is not 2 raised to the power 10 because this is bandwidth whenever we are talking in terms of bandwidth k is 10 raised to the power 3 okay so this comes out to be 2 milliseconds that means transmission time is 2 millisecond now we also know that tt plus 2 tp is 80 milliseconds just substitute value 2 here you are going to get 2 plus 2 tp is equal to 80 the unit is milliseconds here as well and here as well so 2 tp is 78 okay just keep this in mind now we want to determine 1 plus 2a okay let me clear some space One plus two a will be one plus two t p divided by t t. We have already found out the value of two t p. That is one plus seventy eight millisecond divided by two millisecond. So it will be one plus thirty nine. This millisecond and millisecond can be cancelled. That means forty. So value of one plus two a is forty. That means sender window size must be of forty packets to get hundred percent efficiency. So answer to this question is option B forty. Okay. Yeah, one more thing. If you just take the other definition, that means if you assume R T T means twice the propagation delay. then you are going to get 41 as the answer okay that is incorrect 